Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Pen Testers Recommend MFA. Today is not only an interesting security story, but it's a great excuse for me to talk about a product that we just launched today, which I'm very excited for as it solves one of the biggest security challenges that all organizations face. But first, let's start with the story. A company called Rapid7 recently released a report called Under the Hoodie, uh, which really goes over all of their penetration testing experience for the past year. Now, first of all, if you haven't heard of Rapid7, they're well known for being one of the companies that creates vulnerability assessment or penetration testing software. And they also purchased one of the most popular programs created by a guy named H.D. Moore called Metasploit. And while they still offer Metasploit for free as a community edition, they also have their own commercial penetration testing software as well. Now, besides offering the software, they also have penetration testing services, professional services where they go to organizations and provide penetration tests to show companies their vulnerabilities. This report, Under the Hoodie, basically shares some of their general learnings from over 268 penetration tests from 2017. Now, one reason I love this report is there's no better place to learn the right security practices than from penetration testers. These guys are literally finding the most common holes in all organizations' networks. So any tips they give you are very legitimate tips. They're one that will plug the most common holes everybody has. Now, I highly recommend you read this report. I'll be sure to have a link to it in the blog post associated with this video. It contains a ton of great takeaways, but one of the tips that I want to focus on is the lack of multi-factor authentication solutions in a lot of organizations out there. One of the things these penetration testers found was that only about 15% of the organizations they tested actually had their employees using a multi-factor authentication solution. Now, you probably know what multi-factor authentication is. Rather than just using your password to authenticate, use some other token, whether it be a hardware token, a mobile device that sends you a text message or a push authentication. It could be a one-time password. It could be a biometric like your fingerprint. Whatever it is, you're using multiple tokens of authentication so that even if an attacker figured out your password, they'd still need those other tokens to authenticate. Now, as Rapid7 pen testers know, these sort of authentication issues are the most common ways that bad guys breach networks. Basically, why try to defeat any security controls? If you can actually get a lost or stolen credential, maybe from one of the many password breaches that different companies have suffered over the years that have resulted in billions of passwords leaking to the public, if you can get those credentials, you don't need to worry about the security controls because you now have privileged access that gets you a backdoor past all those security controls. Any penetration tester knows that once I have one of your employees' passwords, it's much easier for me to gain access to your network and get other credentials as well. That's why they were so surprised in this report to find only 15% of companies using a multi-factor authentication solution. Another surprising authentication tidbit is they found only 16% of these organizations used any sort of heavy lockout mechanism. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you log into Windows Active Directory, for instance, there's options that if a user fails their login X amount of times, whether it be three or 10 times, you can lock their account, forcing them to contact you before they can authenticate again. And this is a pretty good thing to do. It throttles the amount of times people can log in, which will save you from brute force attacks. And if you have a very strong lockout policy, like literally locking their account forever after maybe five failed attempts, it gives you an opportunity to know whether or not an attacker is targeting one of your users. So long story short is these penetration testers from Rapid7 highly recommend not only having account lockout mechanisms, but using multi-factor authentication. There's no better way to protect your credentials than having multiple different tokens you use to authenticate yourself. Anyways, very cool report. If you want to learn lots of really solid 
Defense Tips, I highly recommend you read it. Now while I'm talking about this, it's also a great opportunity to mention that today we are launching WatchGuard AuthPoint. WatchGuard AuthPoint is actually a standalone multi-factor authentication solution and what's best is it's one that's designed for even the smallest organization to use. Because it's cloud managed, it's very, very easy to set up. You don't need any special servers or any special equipment. You just connect your authentication server to AuthPoint and we can then manage it in the cloud. Then rather than uh, making you rely on expensive hardware tokens, we actually use your mobile device as the second factor. And we use something called push notification, which is very, very easy. Basically when you authenticate every day on your computer, you get a quick push notification to your mobile device, which you just have to approve. And by the way, if you want to use this on a plane, you don't have online connectivity, push authentication isn't the only option. You can also scan a QR code to authenticate, or even use a traditional one-time password, a code that you have to quickly enter. In either case, it's very inexpensive, very easy to use, and takes all the complexity out of multi-factor authentication. Even if you don't have our products, this can offer multi-factor authentication to your everyday login when you're logging into a Windows or in the future a Mac laptop. It can also allow you to add multi-factor to most cloud-based services using something called SAML. We integrate with things like Dropbox or Salesforce or Office 365 to add a second token of authentication to those services as well. In fact, we can even provide a portal where once you log into the portal, it's a simple click to automatically authenticate to any of those services. Now, of course, this product works great with our Firebox products as well. If you use other WatchGuard products like Firebox VPNs, you can use multi-factor with our other products. But even if you use other third-party products uh, like other firewalls and devices, you can also attach our multi-factor authentication to other radius authentication as well. In short, if you're a small to medium business that don't have a multi-factor authentication solution yet, it's a very inexpensive way to offer a critical part to your security. And by the way, I think authentication is the cornerstone of security. As I said, perhaps you have our great WatchGuard Firebox products. They have a ton of security controls that allow you to write a lot of policies that protect your network from unknown external users. The problem with any sort of security control is it's user-based. If a bad guy can get a privileged credential, they tend to be able to skip all your other security mechanisms because you trust those privileged users to gain access to your network. So multi-factor is a key point to protect your users from things like password database breaches or lost or stolen credentials. Anyways, I highly recommend you read Rapid7's penetration testing report because it gives you a lot of good tips to secure your network. And if you're looking for a multi-factor authentication solution, which you probably are considering only about 15% of businesses use them today, you should consider AuthPoint. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, and if you want to learn a little bit more about AuthPoint, I'll be sure to have links to two videos which you can click on here uh, to get more information. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.